Good morning, everyone. Hi. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> today is just today, and that's what I've been waking up and telling myself every day. But today is just another day, and I wake up and I take on whatever the day brings. As of right now, I am in critical condition. Step number one, we are not going to dwell on what is. We are going to focus on what is to become. I've been in a funk because I just got my hair done last week and I feel like it turned out, dare I say, orange. This starfish is completely orange and it's the same color as my hair. So we're not gonna cry about it, we're gonna move on. These are two different girls from two different clubs. One got in, one did not get in. I'm going to the trenches of my YouTuber salon and I'm gonna try to brighten it up a little bit myself. There is a fine line between science experiment and beauty salon and you do not want to be in the experimental group, I can tell you that, but we have no other choice because I don't have time to go get my hair fixed before I leave tomorrow. This is new-ish, I believe. This is Olaplex number zero. I've tried it once, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if it does anything. Under review, but. This is where things get questionable. Olaplex number three. I'm also going to take Dry Bar Blonde Ale. This is a purple hair color enhancing mask. Yeah, do that, sure. Looks like it kind of makes sense. Something that I have recently come back to, Indian Healing Clay face mask. Use at your own risk. I actually think that there's some sort of rule that you're not supposed to use a metal spoon with it. Shane and Ryan are probably sitting at home thinking, what is Morgan doing in our house right now? The only thing that I really don't like about Colorado is it's so freaking stinking dry. My lips are peeling all the time. My hands are peeling all the time, but we have to make do. Moment of truth, we're gonna see if all the purple shit I put in my hair did something. For reference, I think it's maybe a little bit better than what we were dealing with before. We're gonna go to the airport. There was like a six month chunk of time where I lived on an air mattress at Ryan and Shane's house. Actually a long chunk of time, probably like eight months of my life. So we're reliving old times. I told myself today that maybe this is like me starting fresh. I have been in Colorado. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say I have been in college, but I've been in Colorado. I guess I've been both. Let me get ready for a second. I have been situationally, physically, and seasonally depressed. Seasonally? I feel like we're all just depressed, right? Honestly, it's winter. What do we do when all goes wrong and we have to start over? Why would you have to start over? Because you weren't recording? No, I just mean like, what do you do when the going gets tough? You, come you to flee the state and you try somewhere else. Yeah. I haven't lived a winter in Colorado actually for over six years and this is my first one and I'm gonna say it's taken it out of me. What? A, how do you feel? I'm like weirdly happy right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm happy today. I've been doing some research about aging and how people optimally age. What they say about people who start to get old and you know, they start to lose a little bit of their past selves and they start to lose a little bit of their roles and their purpose and their function in life. They get really sad because they're not able to do what they used to. Grandma can't drive and she always makes comments about like the cars she wishes she could drive and the places she wishes she could go. So I think that we're gonna reteach her how to drive. Rewriting the story. We're going to the bougie Target. I'm gonna get shaving cream and toothpaste. I'm going to get cat food and cat litter. Nice, what are you gonna get? Um, bananas. I thought we were teaching grandma to drive. We are teaching grandma how to drive, so we're gonna have to get some safety precautionary things. Look at this place. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> so grandma has been telling us about her leisure suits. Oh my gosh, it is dramatic. She said, well, I felt bad because Shane, <laughs> Shane was like, oh, I like your pajamas. And she goes, this is a leisure suit and there is a difference. I think maybe we could get grandma a new leisure suit to go driving in. I feel like Snoop Dogg's the king of wearing like leisure wear in public. Tell me that's not everything. If you were 83, would you go for the purple or the yellow? 
Well, I think it's all about making a statement and doing something she would never do. Like, I want to make her look like Snoop Dogg. Okay, well, they're both on sale. <laughs> and I don't think Snoop Dogg shops here. This is our inspiration, I feel like. She's fabulous. This is perfect. I think we could mix metals. The girls are mixing metals. Oh, wow, bold. Does it clash? Okay, that is a must grab and go. She is going to look hip and fabulous. See, people think we're going to be horrible parents, and I'm like, look what we're doing for someone who's learning how to drive. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, come on. The last thing we need to find are some statement flats, like some head turning yeah. flats. Yeah, 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 yeah. And no, that's it. Horrible or adorable Target shoe edition. Or <laughs> They're kind of hideous. The Grinch would wear those. Knock off Valentino slides. She has trouble fitting her toes into those <laughs> fat feet. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna fit. We're gonna get popcorn. Okay. We're gonna get oh, oh. freaking A. <laughs> popcorn. Look at for our pool party. Oh, look at the best one. Look at him up oh, there. Oh, Mario. Wow. He looks I like he's in the WAP music video. Okay, we're gonna get you dressed. I got a full cut off, so I have my doctor remedying me. You Yours looks infected. Oh no, is it infected? Okay. Me and grandma really don't have cars here because I took mine to Colorado. You but and grandma, why would grandma ever have a car here? Well, we're a package deal. Who do you think takes grandma places? Mom. There is a little bit of a broken tire, so we kind of just take this pump with us when we go because sometimes you have to do a little road pump. That seems fun. That one seems good. I guess that's what I could do for payment for living at all of your houses. I can be like the blower. I was gonna say the I don't know about that no. title. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, wait just a second. Ooh. Gosh. Okay, I need the dog stuff. Oh no, hi! Is she excited? Yeah, she is. Well, I don't know what we're doing. Wait, did she get her license? Oh, does she need a license? Yeah, she needs her license. They want you to get your driver's license. Uh, okay, license. Olivia Rodrigo. This was the original Tesla. You plug it in! They had the concept first, technically. This thing walked so the Tesla could glide. Most important, we have full gas. Come on out, Grandma. Come on out, Grandma. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Woo. But you guys, I haven't driven for a long time. <laughs> Let's find you a boy. She looks like Chris <laughs> he is legal to drive, bitches. It expires 2025. Wow. <laughs> But so I don't know how to drive anymore. <laughs> We're gonna have you take us through the Taco Bell drive-thru. <laughs> Where all those cars are going? You sit in your driver's seat. Uh-huh. Okay. And okay. then you always gotta make sure to turn on your headlights when you're driving. Are you sending me by myself? I didn't put any makeup on today. If you ask me, the basic rule is just don't hit anyone and you're okay. Okay. Everything else you can figure out in court. Well, I don't know how to turn it on. I don't know what you push in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you gotta know where your horn is. Oh. You push in for your horn. In? Yep. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Safety check number one. Ouch. Click it or tick it, girl. Okay. Oh, you, you got a little something in your teeth. In my teeth? <laughs> it's some in and out that needed to. Oh, saving it for later. <laughs> crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. Okay. Floor it? Floor it? Oh my gosh, mom. <laughs> Woo! For real? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, Shane's running. No, he's <laughs> smart. <laughs> they dodge their bullets. What? Destruction! Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> that looks mad. There was a box in your way. Dog. She hit a dog. It's a, you, you know, it's a play with it. Where should we go? Distraction! <laughs> when there's a big like uh, thing coming at you, you're not supposed to stop and swerve. You're supposed to go right yeah, you're through. Supposed to just oh, where are you through. going, girl? Bird! Oh. <laughs> ah, crash! Did you get out? I'm proud. There's something in front of her. What should we do? Uh, okay, so R is reverse. <laughs> Jogger! Ah! 
You she didn't even press, press her brake. She was like, see you later. Street. Like huh? This is the most dangerous street in America. <laughs> okay, there's no one on the horizon. Okay. So you can just cruise to your heart's desire. Okay. The only way forward is forward. Okay. Rule number one, no texting and driving. Do you think that's going to be a problem for you? Grandma can't respond to one of my texts even if she's sitting on a couch. <laughs> yeah, I think she knows how to text. I think she chooses not to. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, now they're going. Yeah, okay. She I really needs to go going. Going. <laughs> 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 like, fast. No, I just wasn't expecting you to go oh fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. This so, is kind of a bump. Where, where was your favorite place to drive? Where would I drive? Where was your favorite place to go when you had a car? Oh, I know. Oh, I went all over, right? The oh, mall oh was right close. Came oh, my grandma, God. don't okay, lie. What's the matter? Of, there's it's a just, little bit of a cliff. There's a drop off to the left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty, huh? Smile. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, that was just great, Morgan. <laughs> Grandma, okay? I was worried sick. You was? Oh my gosh, Mom, yes. I don't think you should be out driving in the dark. I don't either. Welcome to a new day. It is Friday morning. I am out here. I'm swinging. I thought we could just have a little chat this morning. I'm in a chatty mood. I've been feeling so disconnected from like life, from my channel, from my friends, from everything around me. A year ago, two years ago, three years ago, all of my videos I felt like, you know, I'm so sad, I'm so sad. All I had to say was like, I'm so sad, I'm so miserable, I hate myself, I don't want, I don't know what I'm doing. And then last year, I would say pretty much majority of 2021, I was really happy. I feel like I had grown out of that stage of my life. I like what I'm doing, I have passion, I have purpose, I know exactly what I want to do with my life and I'm content with who I am, who I have around me and everything, all of the above. I was just really happy last year. I had it in my head that I had like knocked it out of my system forever. You know, I was like, I've found the cure. I'm never going to be depressed again in my life. I'm never going to feel anxious again in my life. I'm just good now. Like I'm cured. I'm good. That's what I thought. It has thrown me for a loop because I thought I was cured. And now I'm like, oh my God, it's a lifelong wave of ups and downs. And sometimes you're depressed and sometimes you're really happy. And sometimes things are going really great. And sometimes things are going really not. For the longest time, one of the main comments I would get from people is like, oh, Morgan's just so lost. Like she's never gonna know exactly what she's doing. She's just always gonna be lost. And then I got it in my head and I was like, no, I'm gonna prove everyone wrong. And I'm not gonna be depressed anymore. And I'm not gonna be lost anymore. And I'm gonna find this whole new life path. And I feel like I, I did that. Like I kind of did that. And now, I don't know. I guess I'm just embarrassed to admit that I feel so, so lost again. Like I am a literal ostrich with my head in the sand. Have you ever seen a photo with the ostrich with the head in the sand? His head is fully in the sand. Like his senses are working, but he can't see shit. He doesn't know what's going on around him. He can't, he's not seeing clearly. I am the ostrich with my head in the sand and I'm just not seeing things <laughs> clearly. I was so not lost for so long. Even six months ago, I felt like I knew exactly what I was doing. I was killing it in school. I was doing this whole house renovation thing. I loved making videos and I felt like I had a good schedule going on. And now it's like, I can't make a YouTube video to save my life. I just withdrew from a class because I was failing. I took an exam, got a 43% and I was like, okay, um, I've never failed a class in my entire life. So I can't be failing a class. I have my clothes in five different places. Like I'm literally just going insane. I think I'm going insane. But then I like sit back at the end of the night and I'm like, my life's so great. I have no reason to be going insane. I've just been on a constant loop of like, what is, what isn't? Is this burnout? Am I depressed? I kind of had the thought last night that the whole reason that I do this more so than anything is because I like the way that I feel connected to people. It's really what this whole thing is. Like I'm showing my life as it is as a 24 year old right now. And as of right now, I am not well. Do I know that that's temporary? Yes. Have I felt this way before? Yes. Have I figured it out before? Yes. But I don't know. I guess to all my girls, gays, theys, and straights, all of the above, if you are feeling down, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling anxious, if you feel like your life is full of doom right now, then you're not the only one because I feel the same. But I'm gonna go get my hair toned because 
I think maybe that'll put a little pep in my step. Small steps make great progress, kids. And that is how I'm feeling today. Just a little lost. The chapter currently is lost. I'm not on that TV show. Maybe I should be because I would be pretty damn good at it. I'm just enjoying the swing. I'm so happy to be here and not be in the snow. I, yeah, I'm so happy to be here and not be in the snow. That is for sure. I am so lucky that Ryan and Shane let us come and stay because I, as a lost individual, don't know what I would do without them. We're going family shopping in the canyons. Yeah, we're here. Should we crash the wedding? <gasps> what if we all show up to the wedding with gifts? <gasps> I think that's our next two outfits. Is this an avocado robe? This could be your uh, robe that you get ready in for your wedding. <laughs> You think this one is two hundred dollars or two debt two dollars and seventy five cents? Two hundred. Two hundred. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm getting this for myself. <laughs> What'd you find? Um, manifestation jars. <gasps> oh, wait, I want five. Wait, lost. Manifestation. <laughs> <gasps> It's a nail board and you put your feet on it. And you put your feet on it? It's like straight nails. Wanna try it? No. I got something at the fancy little store. Got everyone a secret little rock. This one says patience, which is for my mom because she has all of us annoying people asking her for things all day. So this is your rock. Yes. This one is for me because I desperately need any this sort of serotonin. This one says health, so this one is for grandma because she needs to live in good health. This one is for Shane. This says create. For oh my his god! New conspiracy videos. Thank you. And this one's for you that says fertility, so you can get pregnant. <laughs> oh my gosh! And thank you, you. You can't lose it though because then the opposite, like the bad juju, will come. Oh my god! Well, wow! Oh my gosh! Work. Now that I'm like, you know, driving again, I feel like I need driving classes. Oh my god, this is the near me. <laughs> That's always been you. This is the town of disco balls. Yeah. And on his face. You're always just a happy-go-lucky person. So I was wondering if you've ever been depressed. Mm -hmm. Have you really? Huh? When? Oh, way back when you were born, I guess. Yikes. I was, oh. <laughs> that was really That's the only time I can remember, baby. <laughs> oh, 